Have your license, please. This is the worst case scenario. Last fall, a state trooper wounding an unarmed man as he was simply reaching for his license during a stop for a seatbelt violation. That now former officer is facing charges and possible jail time. Then in February, a different situation. A trooper shooting a man in Lexington County during a DUI stop when things got physical and the driver grabbed a gun out of his car. That officer was cleared of any wrongdoing. The driver is the one facing charges here. No two traffic stops are ever going to be the same because we're dealing with people. And people are very dynamically different depending on what they have going on in their lives that day, the added stress of a traffic stop. I'm always watching my suspect vehicle for any strange movement. Don Rock was a police officer for 10 years and now teaches at the South Carolina Criminal Justice Academy. As I'm approaching, I'm looking in the mirror just to make sure there's any movement. He walked Watch Fox News through a traffic stop, how he teaches recruits the process, what they should do, what they should watch for, and what people inside the vehicle should be doing as well. I didn't learn any of that in driver's ed, you know, about if you're stopped by the police, what you do. He has some simple tips. Hands on the wheel at all times. Windows open, especially if they're tinted so an officer can see in the car. If it's at night, put on the dome light and also keep those windows open. And if you have a weapon in the car, let the officer know about it. It will help everybody in the long run if we know what we're dealing with. Officer, there's a, there's a firearm in my glove box. I just wanted to let you know. Okay, thank you. Then we'll take care of that in just a second. I got a chance to speak uh, in uniform and without the uniform. And both times, there are different views. Kurt Thomas was a highway patrolman for seven years, now an author and motivational speaker working with youth and communities about a variety of issues, including relationships with police. I just try to let them know whenever they get stopped, even though you feel an aggression because the law enforcement officer is stopping you, just don't think that I'm coming up there or the person is coming up there with a gun or to automatically take you to jail. That's not always the case. Uh, sometimes we just want to warn you, hey, you almost got hit by a car. Did you know that? It's not a stressful situation just for the driver. It's a stressful situation for the officer as well. And it's a situation officers and drivers want to keep as low key as possible. I would want an officer stopping me to like they're stopping their mother and they, they need to, to treat people like that until the situation dictates other action.